All right, so we got the edit post page displaying some data, right? So we go to view all posts. We can see that if we click on the edit, we are able to go to that edit underscore post.php and, and see some data. Now, we're going to be relating this category later on. We're going to be putting the, the category title there that this post belongs to later on, all right? Right now, this is static, and we're going to we're gonna fix it, all right? Um, it's gonna be a number on your side, and but later on we're gonna put the title there, right? But that's an extra code that we will be doing. But anyway, so we are here, and what we need to do now is now that we have all this data here, we need this button here. When we click it, we need to send that data from the form to our database to update these fields to whatever we want right so if we want to say this and click update we want to be able to we want to be able to have this data sent to our table all right so let's go to our admin forward slash includes forward slash edit underscore post that php page or edit underscore php page well, i'm just going to say edit post all right it's a lot easier now the first thing that i want to do in here is is that I want to make sure that when I click on this button from the view of post, I want to make sure that I go to this specific post, right? 37 in my case. In your case, it might be a different number. Don't worry about that. It happens, and it doesn't. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that you have a different post. All right. So where we're gonna select all from post where what post ID equals this post ID that we're getting in the URL, all right, in the get request, all right? So now that we have that, now we're good to go. Now the next thing is we want to detect this form when it's submitted. So we need to check for this button right here for this key, update underscore post. So we're going to say if it's set, right, and this is going to be a post. If it's set, then we're going to do something, right? You want to make sure that it works. Let's just echo something out, right? Let's echo high to see if it works. Refresh. Oops. Did we misspell this function here? There we go. And let's just click it, and we can see that it says hi right there. Perfect. So it is working. All right. So what we want to do is we want to grab all the fields in this name attribute right here. We want to grab it in the post super global and copy it right here. We've we done that before. And I'm just going to copy something that I got in the side and paste it right here. And you can just do the same. Well, you can just copy whatever I have here, but just know that all I'm doing is grabbing all the form values from down here in that name attribute right here, these values. And I'm, I am grabbing in this post super global because that's how we grab it from the form, and we are assigning it to a variable. That's all I'm doing, all right? So you're welcome to pause this video and copy each of these down, all right? I'm also grabbing the images in the super global files right perfect next thing is the move uploader function we already saw how to do that I'm just gonna paste it right here and all I'm doing right here like I explained before is moving the the image from the temporary location to a permanent location I'm using the this path right here with the image name right here right all right so the next thing is to submit this right once this is done we need to go ahead actually as a matter of fact once this the update post is done all right we need to well actually this is not the update post this is I'm just right here it's, it's just this name is confusing me a little bit but I'm just gonna leave it like this um, just for demonstration purposes only but in the in another case I would probably name it submit or something like that I just don't want every form to be 
name submit on the same page. But we only have one form here, so it really doesn't matter if we change it to submit. I'm just going to leave it like this, all right? But anyways, all right, so now that we have all this information, what we need to construct is the update query. And for that, I already copy this down, and I will show it to you right here, as you can see. And now, what I'm doing here basically is concatenating all this query because it's super long. So as you can see here, I'm using the same variable over and over again, concatenating it with a dot and an equal symbol. So basically, this query, all right, is one long string, and I'm just dividing it just to make it easier for me. Just like this, it would be something like, uh, all right, and then we have a long line like this with a lot of values, and I don't want that, so I'm just cutting it off, concatenating it, making it look a little nicer. That way, if I have a mistake, I can come to one single line and correct it instead of looking through all this one line here, right? So it's better for debugging too. So I'm saying update post, and then I'm updating it once I say that, but I'm going to set the post title, which is the column in the table, equal to the post title in my form. All right, remember, this is coming from here. This field, right, this value right here is in this variable, post title right now. And the post category is also on that on this on this value right here now let's go ahead and check that out real quick the post uh, category ID let's go down to the categories right here all right and if for some reason you have this select all from category where category equals cat ID or something like that just delete it all right and just leave it like this select all from categories just if some reason I think I did it on the last video and we fixed it alright just make sure that you have what I have right now also make sure that you this select right here has post underscore category right very important so make sure you have that because this is that this is the value that will be submitted every time I select one of these so if I select this right that's gonna have a value and it's gonna have this is gonna carry that value right and it's gonna do it right here so we're gonna we, we're displaying the name right here but we are carrying that category ID on that option value right and that option value is gonna be carried by this guy right here so make sure you have that All right now when we get this on the form right here, it's going to be post cat underscore category. And we're going to actually rename it to post underscore category ID. We're not renaming it. We're assigning a variable that is a little different from this. All right, underscore category ID. And then we are using that ver uh, variable right here with the column name, which is the same name. All right. So here we're using a function for the date. This is just going to give us the date for today. All right. We don't need quotes or anything like that. And see, and here, just notice I always have quotes around my strings. They're all strings. And I always have a space after the comma. Make sure you always have a space after the comma. And the last one, well, the one before the last, all right, I don't have a comma there. So make sure you don't have a comma there either. Right, because if you put a comma there, your this is not gonna work. The where statement. So the whole query we failed. So take the comma out. Now, if you want to make sure that this worked, all right. Uh, first, we're gonna send the query. So we're gonna use a variable. We're gonna use the function mysqli underscore query, right? And then we are gonna assign that connection to this. Perfect. Now we're going to use a function, right, that we have confirm query. 
this is that function that we made and we're gonna make sure that this works all right so now make sure that this function that you have is correct go to functions.php in admin all right and make sure that we have the same that you have the same name for this function all right I might have spell it, spelled it like this before with an M before and I'm spelling it with an N now and I fixed it there. I think I already told you how to fix it but if not just make sure. If for some reason this fails, this function fails, just do the if statement here like this and just check if not post then just die and you know like this. You should know how to do that. Query failed. My SQLI. I'm just doing this really quickly so that way you can have a better idea on how this is done. All right. But and then we pass it in the connection. And that's just going to give you the same thing as this confirm function there. If for some reason it fails. All right. Mine is working. So yours should be working too. All right, so this should do it right now. All right, well, there's nothing else that we got to do here. Everything seems to be in order. Let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to and click enter there on my URL. And I'm going to say guys with an S and update. And now you saw the picture there. We're going to fix that in a minute right now. You saw that that disappear, and I'm gonna tell you in a minute why. So if we go to view post. We see that we were able to update the other guy, but we have a problem with the image. So let's go and fix that real quick. All right. So the problem with the image, I'm going to explain what it is right now. Let's go here. Is that if I go ahead and choose an image, I'm gonna choose an image right now, like this. And by the way, if you want these images, I'm going to get a file on the right of this lecture. You can download a file that's going to have all these images there. I'm just going to upload them for you. That way you don't have to make them, all right? They're going to be 900 by 300. So on the right to this lecture, download those images if you want them, all right? I'm going to put them there for you. So if I have this image there, right, and it's there right now. Actually, I didn't choose it. Sorry about that. And I got to wait for my computer now for some reason. All right, give me one second. Oops, everything just crashed. Let's just reopen this. Sorry about that. I got a lot of things open. I got like three more monitors on the right hand side, on the left. And of course, it's prone to fail. All right, so it just. Let's go down to it. Admin. View a post. All right. Don't worry about what you saw there. Sometimes I go back and, you know, after I make 30 lectures, and I go back and, and, and redo a lecture if I don't like it. So don't worry about what you saw there. Um, I'm probably way uh, ahead of you right now in other lectures, but. I go back and fix some of these lectures that I make mistakes on sometimes, all right? So I'm always keep fixing things and things like that. But anyway, let's go down to it. Let me explain what happened with the image. So I'm going to choose File. I'm going to go to Pictures. And you see now we have the picture and I click Update. Now the picture is fine, but if I click Update again, we lose that because right now we don't have any value there. All right, so if I click update, we'll have no value. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that this post variable, this post image variable is not empty. And if it is, we need to go get that image somewhere else, and that will be in the database. So right now, before we make anything, now, right here, before we do any update on this, let's make sure that this post image is not empty. And if it is, we go get that image in the database, all right? So we're going to use another function called empty. And we're going to say if empty post image. And listen, if you are sticking with me all this time, congratulations. You're really, 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 really awesome. All right. Not a lot of people can do this. So anyways, I just want to tell you that you're awesome. And you're going to get very far in life. So 
if this post image is empty, we're going to go to the database and select all from post where post ID equals what? Let's get this ID right here. Why not, right? Post ID equals this guy right here. And put a little space there. We're going to call this query select image. As a matter of fact, I think I already have it written down somewhere. Let me see if I find it on one of my other monitors. All right, yes, I have it right here. So I'm just going to paste it right there. So we're going to use the MySQLI query underscore query to send the query. We're going to assign it to this a, sele a variable, select underscore image. We're going to use a while loop to loop through that result set, right, that we get from the database. And we're going to pull out the image again. All right, so that's all I did there. I'm going to save it. And if I go back and click enter there. I don't have an image there, but if I go and update this, and if I click update again, you see that I get the image again and again. All right? So perfect. We can let's change the image. I like to change it. And update post. Let's click update post again. And I got that image. All right? Perfect. So I think this lecture was pretty good. It was a little long, but uh, if you stuck with me until the end, you're awesome. You're doing very good, and you're going to be a really good uh, PHP developer. All right? So anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next lecture.